emergency video, guys. Domino's is back. The add-on that died in Dragonflight is now reborn. I just made a video replacing Bartender. I learned Bartender, fully assimilated myself into Bartender, and still just had a few things. I was like... And now Domino's is here. Look at this. First thing. Oh my gosh, there it is. It's just a beautiful UI that you can hide. That's the thing that was missing. In bar in Domino's, you or in Bartender, you have to actually which each bar is individually and separate. You can actually click things together in the beautiful setup that we're gonna get right the heck into. So if you type slash Dom in Domino's, it's gonna bring up this little menu right here. Very clean. It's a new menu. They did this is this is definitely an update. The only real button you have to worry about is configure bars. And there we go. Look at this beautiful interface, and it's just so familiar and so, so good. Uh, the keybinds, you can actually press this right off the bat, and you can hold a, hold your cursor over this and keybind all the abilities. Uh, I would recommend not to fade them, as you see how mine are faded. We'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, but back to configure bars. Uh, these are show them show this on the mini-map whenever you have the, it'll hover around the mini-map. I have an add-on called mini-map button bag that compacts it into there. Uh, sticky bars is where they kind of attach to each other and click into each other. As you can see right here, these are two separate things. You can also see that they're both light blue, but whenever you click them into each other, one becomes light blue. This is now the main frame, and this is the the uh, baby frame that attaches to it, right, uh, separately. But if I click them together, they inherit the properties of each other, which I'll get to that here in a second. Um, and then you have all the, and then actually that's perfect. Docked bars inherit opacity. That means that anything, as you can see it actually right here, anything that's attached to each other and linked like that, like I just showed, inherit whatever it is. So I could have certain settings for this, it wouldn't matter because it's going to inherit and base off of the main one, which is great because if I have one main one, I can just click it in there and we're good to go. Also on that note, as you see down here in, my, in these bars, this is, one, is the main one and all of these are connected to it. I actually don't like that. I want to keep these away from it. And so you see how now that I moved it away, it was connected and see now this is the main one these are secondary if i move it away from it now it's actually good to go a very nice helpful thing to avoid the sticky bar snapping is if you hold down alt if you hold down alt you can move things very specifically and you see how it didn't click that time if i don't hold down alt it will click and go there so again Take it off, hold down alt, and you can place it wherever you want. Yep, and you will be good just like that. Now, uh, there's a couple bars you can move and mess around with here. Talking head, I usually put mine up here out of the way. Uh, I'll, they have a ton of action bars now, a absolute ton. And if you want to see them, you can put them up here. And if you don't want to see them, you can hide them. So uh, uh, the best thing that you can do with all of this is if you right click on these, that's where all the interface action uh, comes in. You can change the size, the column, the spacing, all that stuff. But before I get ahead of myself here, I want to show this uh, profiles, please, please, please go to profiles, make a new profile. Don't just be playing with the default settings. I'm, in fact, I'm going to do this for here. I always do this for YouTube and then I'm going to make a brand new profile and it changes everything. Oh my God, this is what your screen will look like inter interacting with all the stuff and you can start moving things around. There are 14 action bars here, people, 14 of them. Uh, so if you want, you can copy from. So I'm going to go copy from, and then there's my 6.0, and now we're back, right? So now this is identical to the 6.0. You can also delete profiles, all that good stuff. So back to this. The beautiful part of all of this is now that all of this, oh, this is also show empty buttons. And if you want to have it to where um, it shows that it has a blank empty button hole, you can actually click that off. I don't like the look of that, so I turn that off. Anyway, now all of the interface options are now inside of each of these things. So if I want to interact with this, I right click on this and the actual menu for that comes up. If I want to interact with this, I click on this. You just right click around all the different things you want to bring up and you can actually change whatever it is you want. Now, the main thing you're gonna be changing here are the action bars. So, um, we're gonna get to that here in a second. Padding is the actual thing around it. Uh, this, this, uh, you can see how much, how much room that it's working with here, of where it's gonna click in if you wanna leave some space to have some padding to where they don't like butt up next to each other. Scale is what's gonna increase the actual size of how big the thing is, right? Um, and that's really all I mess with. Fading is what we're going to get into. In fact, we'll get into fading right now. Uh, so this this bar right here, as you can see, um, uh, the fading for this bar is set to zero down here. If you bring it all the way back up, you can see there's actually stuff on this bar. There's a bunch of abilities. My dragon riding bar is what action bar 11 is. So I don't want to see that all the time, right? And my action bar one changes automatically to that once I'm riding. So that's, that's, that's by default too. You don't have to change anything for that. But I don't want to see this up here. 
Uh, so if you right click on these bars, you can click on fading. The only two sliders you need to worry about are this one and this one. If I want to fade it down forever, I can fade the opacity down and it's just always going to be faded no matter what. It's now basically an invisible bar. Um, so I'm going to keep it just like, actually, I'm not going to keep it like that. And here's, here's why I'm going to show you. I'm going to bring it back up and then there's fade out opacity. This means it's going to fade out unless you mouse over it, which is the most beautiful thing of this whole thing. So now I exit out of this thing. If I mouse over it, you see how it now shows back up. As soon as I mouse over it, it shows up, which is the same setting I have for these bars down here. And you see how they're all separate away from each other now. I mouse over this, it comes up, and I mouse over this and it comes up. And I have it all set up nice and beautifully. Again, so back to dominoes, back to configure bars. This is where I'm gonna talk about the action bars. For the sake of this, I'm going to go into fading I'm going to bring these up so you can actually see what these bars are looking right, like right here. Now, again, I am in my YouTube profile, so I'm going to jack up and mess these whole things up. So I'm going to separate them and we're going to focus mainly on this action bar one. If I right click it, the size, you can actually change how many action bars there are. There's just one or there's all 12. You can absolutely change that. Columns, you can change it to where they actually turns into this, like a two by six or you could have it look like this. I like this, uh, uh, that's what I have down here for action bar 13. You can change up the columns and how it looks and all that kind of stuff. And you can also delete these at the same time, make up your own. Uh, spacing is how much room is in between all of these. Padding is again that, that room. You see how now there's some wiggle room around it. So when I lock it in and click it in, there's gonna be a little padding between it. And in general, I never use padding. Uh, and then the spacing is just how far apart the buttons are from each other. I usually like to have that one or two. Also another cool thing is if you scroll your mouse wheel, you can actually scroll the mouse wheel inside here and to change it by little bitty uh, bits of numbers. And it's actually a really nice quality of life situation. So I'm going to put it back to where I had it. Um, and then the scale is going to also change how big these buttons get <laughs> and they are pretty big, but real quick, a real quick timeout actually on top of all of this, I'm going to leave everything just like it is. Everything looks crazy right now. I'm going to go to options. I did add one extra add on to this thing. If you go to add ons, uh, and you can download this on curse forge, all that stuff, the link for all of this will be down in the description. Um, mask. I never have downloaded mask before. I was always nervous to do it for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, if you download uh, mask dominoes or the dominoes mask you can go to skin settings and then you select dominoes and you can go to zoomed right now that it normally would look like this as far as the default modern it looks like these buttons i don't like that you can change it to look like classic you can change it to look however you want uh, the original buttons you want to look you could totally do that or zoomed i like the zoomed look that just looks super clean and crisp to me, so I'm gonna keep it like that. That's why you see mine look a little bit different. If you want that, that's just a very simple add-on, very lightweight, it's totally fine. Another thing I will mention with that though, is my weak auras got messed up whenever I did that. So under weak auras, make sure you go to dominoes, or you, it, it, my weak auras all looked weird because it was Blizzard Modern. Switch your weak auras to dominoes and they will look normal as well because if you see if I enter in a combat right here, all my weak auras now, or look normal instead of like these weird buttons. But anyway, back to um, the actual uh, domino situation. The last thing I really want to show here um, is the other other things with fading. Again, you can change uh, the fading conditions to be whatever you want of the mouse over or not, link them together or not, all very straightforward. But now one thing I want to do, I want to bring it down here. There's one fancy thing that I did with my mount button. So if you, if you notice right now my mounts, right? My mount button right here. My mounts, uh, these are my two mounts. I, I have them right next to my character. It's, it is my indicator to show if I'm in combat or not. What's actually nice is watch right here. These will disappear. As soon as I enter combat, they disappear. And that's on purpose and that's a, a condition that you can set. Let me show you right here. And when I, whenever I leave combat, my weak auras go away and the action bar comes back and there we go. And now I have this action bar back. How that works in dominoes this is actually the one kind of bad thing about dominoes. I wish this was a setting that you can actually change, um, but this is right here. I'll put this down in the description as well. Under advanced, this is the command that I put in there. Combat hide show. That is the command that I put in there and that is what, uh, there's actually another command that I'm gonna get you guys right now. Um, and it's, it is uh, this right here. Uh, just in case and I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show this that is what it is right now And if you and that means that it's going to show the action bar when you're not in combat And if you are in combat it goes away, but the opposite of that is this you just literally switch the show and the hide So in combat it's gonna show 
and outside of combat it's going to hide so that is the two different settings you can have uh, i'll put that in the down description as well to put in the little advanced section and that's the only thing that dominoes is really missing to be exactly where i wanted it to be but now everything's where i want it to be i can change the size of this and get it all back to good in fact what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to go back to profiles and go to my main one Ah, there we go. And there is how you set it all up. Your extra ex extra button abilities, your encounter bar, pet bar, all that kind of stuff, bags and menu, everything is all very nice and clean uh, to put in there. The only other thing that I really do think that is important is, uh, is for your action bar one. For action bar one, there's something called paging. Paging means, you know how if you're a, a druid and you shapeshift into a, a certain form and your buttons change? If you're a rogue and you stealth, your buttons change. If you're riding your dragon right mount, your buttons change. This is what it changes to. So if you, this is action bar one, and if no conditions are met, you're going to be in action bar one. But if you go to at, if you go to action page two is action bar two, action page three, action bar three. Each action page is associated to a different class. So druids, action bar two is bear form, action bar three is cat form, etc. Right, and that's all preset based on your classes and stuff. So don't worry too much about that. Uh, I'm, a I'm on a demon hunter right now, so nothing really matters. Um, and then if you can, you can also set some fancy stuff up to where if you hold down shift, it looks different. If you hold down alt and shift, it looks different. All that kind of stuff. If I'm targeting an ally, it looks different. If I'm targeting an enemy, you can set it up to be if I target an enemy, then it changes to action bar whatever it is. I don't really mess around with stuff like that. I have macros for that and I have all entire videos for that. So I hope this is Domino's video helped you get up to speed with Domino's and get Domino's up in your game now. Now that it's back, I'm fully moving over to Domino's and uh, I, I hope that this video was an alert to you to go get and get it yourself. I love Domino's. I'm glad that it's back. Oh, it just is so nice. And oh, it's just, oh, it's, oh, oh, oh. And one, one last thing I just noticed, you see this uh, bag? I don't like the way that bag looks. So if I go to options and I go to the skin settings for mask under dominoes, I, if I click on dominoes, I have zoomed, which is it changes all of these. But if I go over specifically to my bag bar and change it to the blizzard modern, now the bag looks like the cool blizzard modern bag. Okay. Something super simple. But anyway, uh, if you like all my UI stuff, I have a ton more videos on UI. If you want to support me on Patreon, I have all of my imports for all patrons for every single add on every single week order that I have. I give my patrons in these nice clean links and it helps support what I do here. Make more of these for you guys. Stay creative. Think outside the box. Peace.